and the show contains scenes of violence and coarse language. Your discretion is advised. I ain't a fucking chooch. Well, this hill is full of assholes that you've, um, brought with you that you already, um, violating the first term. He is literally so stupid. Okay, we gotta go win now. Yes, we are. Damn tree. Just go. If we walk yes, yes. Exhibit B. I already know that beyond this wall and the field. All right, everyone in the church, hands hey, up oh, right now. Right now, no, you're dead. Right now, right now. Hands right up, hands up. Right now, right now in the right air. Now. In here, right now. Thank you. Right now. <laughs> We got back home to Booster, and we brought the Sandman and his friend to Mordebusco. Of course, there were melty little pricks on the way there. To the shack, boys. Both of you, inside. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, I remember, remember how Lucifer got shot in the lake by them? Okay. Oh, yes, uh, you ready to have a little discussion with them, Philip? Mm, yes, I am. Good. You guys want a beer? You know, uh, get to be perfectly honest, that sounds like a good, a good, uh, good oh, plan to you. me. Oh. I'll take a beer. Yeah, mm. Mm. Okay, that's... So, you, you still want that beer oh. now? Hmm? Tony. Mm. Well, yes. no need in. if you put it in that sense, not really. Just give me a mm. second. Okay. So you like terrorizing girls? You like to fuck with my two clients? This is business. I don't care. You know, I don't put feelings into business, morals. This is business, boys. You gotta realize that. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job here. I hope you understand that, right? I didn't hit you. I didn't, I didn't hurt you. We just cuffed you up. Made sure that these uh, five fellas, these business partners of ours, well. these associates, get to speak with you and do to you as they see fit. Just know if it wasn't for my clients, I would have ripped your fucking eyes out for shooting one of my men. But business comes first. The man of the hour. Oh, but there he is. Perfect. Oh, look at that. It looks like he's got a toy. You mind if I take this outside? Sure. I might need some hey. room. Yeah, ex uh, yeah, that's fine with me. When you had me and Chloe out in the woods that day, did you think that uh, this day would come? Did you... Prepare. When did you know that I was going to take vengeance? I'm just curious, you know. Come on, there's no need for whatever that is in your hands. I hope you're all witnessing the Sandman here. What he does. Shut up. You stabbed the hook right in his collarbone. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Roti, 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 wait up, wait up. This is good, this is good. Back on your knees, back on your knees. Come on, back on your knees. I did not need to see that. I ain't gonna fucking beg you, you fucking motherfucker. Oh yeah, I hope all your little friends here have got a fucking nice view. Oh, that's it. You're going to die. Rod, you just depends when. Two conditions. Once I realize that the pain that you're feeling right now is equivalent that you are afflicted between me and Chloe. And two, once you beg for death, okay, you're not going to beg for mercy. You're going to beg to die. I am begging you for shit. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. <coughs> we don't need these, these cuffs anymore. How's that bowing of two angles, huh? How's it holding up? Come on, Simon, tell me how you're feeling. Fuck you. <coughs> no, you're going to stand up. You're going to follow me. Tony, do you mind if I decorate this, what you call it, motor bus going? 
<laughs> this, you know, it's in dire need of decoration, Jacob. I've seen and done a lot of shit in my time, but I gotta say this, Jacob, he was a special breed. Stand up and put your left hand on this wolf. I, I, I can't. Keep it up, keep it up, you know, you rat. No. You see these nails on the ground? Mm. <coughs> oh, rat. I mean, need to get the rat Jacob. angle of this, you know. Jacob, what the fuck are you- No, Jacob! <coughs> <coughs> Uh, on the next one. Oh, I can still smell the fucking plum off your fucking cunt. <laughs> this man has uh, quite a mouth on him, eh? Right. No. All these nails are in the very tip of your fingers. No. Tell me, are you holding them up right now? You know, you're not moving your hands. So I'm just curious. What would happen if I, if I were to knock you out and you know, all your weight would go onto that finger there? The finger would rip off first, or, or the wood? I'm quite curious. Yeah, I'm curious no. about that too. Uh, I guess. We'll what do you think? Out. What do you think, Simon? Give me, give me a hint. Give me a hint. I am fucking begging you for shit. Fucking no, stop fucking bummer. Oh. <laughs> Look at them. Huh? Look at them. I have to admit. I thought the Sandman was going to cave in a lot sooner. He was just not begging to die. Are well, you going to beg for death? <laughs> Fuck you, you piece of shit. Jacob was about to cut Sandman's ear right off. Ah, uh, Tony, how you doing out there, bud? Sounds like people are dying, but, you know. You're not wrong. Oh my god. It seems that Lucifer was enjoying this a little too much. Get up. <sighs> and then Colt wrote that he wanted to have a little fun too. Just uh, let my man do a little something here. He needs some practice. He just wanted to do a little something to mm -hmm. show that we mean business here. Carry on. He stabbed the ice pick right in the back of his knee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He ain't getting up. <sighs> Would you like to use this? Shut up, when you're. Right over there. You yeah. see that uh, nice stub of wood right there? How about we lie his uh, head right there? Shut you up. could uh, <laughs> do what you need to do, eh? Yeah. Sounds good. And it's over. Here you go. Drag him to the fucking wood stump now. It was a long fucking day. But even sometimes, when you're two hairs away from killing somebody, you gotta have respect for a man who never caves in. Simon. Do you have any last word? Uh, I wish uh, I was born differently. So be it. What happened to the other guy? Well, Jacob decided to show some mercy, so we let him go. I better not fucking hear another word about this Sandman being out there. You understand me? That's all I want to be clear. I was told that if things go south, that is what I'm expecting it just happened. The man behind you is now has the Sandman in him. So, that's what I was told. And that's what Jacob is now, apparently. The Sandman. Listen, I don't know what kind of weird fucking cult shit you're into. But Jacob is no Sandman, and I want you to fucking understand that right now. Okay? Do not torment Chloe a Jacob ever. Is that understood? But whoever said I did, but yes, I will not, and I never will, and never have. Excellent. I believe we uh, we have been clear here, right? Okay. Good, good, good. Chloe and Jacob looked a little disturbed about all this, especially Chloe. You okay now? I'm fine. Chloe, are you okay? Look a little distraught. I just... I've never seen anything like that. Listen, it's a harsh world out there. We all know that. Ain't no news. You've seen some bad things. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much worse out there. You've been through a lot. It's been really hard, everything you told me. I can't believe you're still standing here as strong as you are. 
I congratulate you and respect you for that. Thank you. Of course, Chloe. Well, you people are the one. Oh, there's a lot more than I thought. There's even more out there, so watch yourself. You just uh, head straight where you're looking at, and uh, don't look back for now. Eh, you start that way. That way? Yeah. Over there? Just, just, uh, over there. Uh, yes. Right over just there. fucking run now. Do it. Do it. Change my mind. Boys, have Hurry a up. one. Run. Yeah. Yeah, you have a wonderful night too. All right. Okay, let's head back to HQ and do some coke. We did our first job. Hey, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> job well done. And now look at us. We've got a home, a nice permanent home. <laughs> We can all congratulate each other. I'm gonna fucking keep drinking all night, I swear to God. Fucking this beer. <laughs> Good work. Yeah. Good work, everybody. Good fucking work. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> oh, okay. Just a fair warning to you. Uh, the first puff kicks in pretty nice. Taking me off. Yeah, Tucker. You take it. All right. Fuck you. Oh, this is fucking... Here you go, Oh, looks uh, like he's you, going for the normal stuff. Coke. Yeah. Uh, Alright. What's going on in here? Hey, throw it to Johnny. Hey, we're, we're, we're smoking the snake. Yeah, uh, you want some Alfie? Oh, um, yes, uh, I wouldn't mind. Good, good. Oh, you, you'll see the feeler. Johnny, you pass that to Alfie after, okay? <laughs> Yeah, oh, but Jesus Christ! You don't get off if you don't cough! <laughs> That's right. Pass it over here, Alfie! Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, jeez. Calm down, you better sit. You better sit. It's a high and it's a low at once, uh, Alfie. <laughs> Look at him go. Falling over on the floor. <laughs> we literally celebrated all fucking night, and I was really wasted. You all, you all, uh, you all mean a lot to me. Uh, you gotta remember that. Well, you wouldn't have given us off of the snake if you didn't. Yeah, you gotta take that thing with respect, yeah. eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. The fuck Whoa. was that? What? No, no. <laughs> Jeez. We were seriously too high for this shit. Well, that's a good way to bring yourself down real quick. A few weeks ago, when Alfie was out scouting, he stumbled upon a guy called Axel. They became friends. What Alfie didn't tell me is that his friend's a fucking idiot. I'm standing here pondering if you're a fucking idiot that actually likes to shoot around settlements without fucking letting anybody know. Don't, don't do that, eh? You could get yourself killed. Uh, oh, I can get myself killed. Yeah, I have an infected running at me wanting to, uh, you know, eat my fucking flesh. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna shoot it. Thank you very much. Don't ever disrespect me in my fucking town. I'm trying to be a good guy here. Thank you. You really appreciate the good help. You think that's yeah. fucking funny, huh? Axel was part of a group called Reapers. Tucker really didn't trust that. He doesn't respect us. He doesn't respect you, I can tell. Yeah, I've been sensing that. He's only here to cause trouble. So what you think? And we beat the shit out of him. Teach him that we're not to be fucked with. I understand. I just need to know more about these people he's with. Just don't want this to hurt the family. It was time to pull Alfie aside and have a little chat about his friend. Now, Alfie, it is my understanding that Axel is your friend, but he's also part of these Reapers, which are known to be bad people. Now, I don't give a shit how bad they are, but if they come to my town and act the way that they're fucking acting, that's not good. Tucker and some of the other guys, including myself, feel that this guy is way fucking off. Now, you know that respect is everything that we have here. And he is clearly not giving us any of that. I don't like that. I don't like that whatsoever. Now, Alfie, I trusted your judgment. 
but you gotta get this guy to calm the fuck down, or else he's not gonna like what's gonna happen next. Mm -hmm. Well, um, yes, I know he is, uh, my friend, so, uh, I do feel responsible if there are issues, um, Hell, uh, so I'm sure I can talk to him. Uh, How long have you known him? Um, for a uh, few weeks now. A uh, few weeks. And he's good to you always. Treats you with respect. Uh, yes, um, we joke around sometimes. Uh, but, um, well, when things need to get done, uh, he'll be there. Well, you make sure, very simply, that he treats me and everybody here with fucking respect! Is that understood? Mm, Alright. Mm, yes. Thank you, Alfie. I knew you could get the job done. Mm, and, um, one more thing. Uh, mm, I, um, probably shouldn't have any more of those, uh, snakes. I, um, kind of <laughs> messed me up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they were kind of a little loose on you, eh? Don't worry about it, Alfie. Mm, yeah. Well, like I said, I have my ways. He doesn't know who he's messing with. Eh, obviously. The only reason I tolerate it is because of Alfie. But I had a good talk with Alfie. Mm -hmm. He's a friend of his, so, you know, Alfie's going to, uh, to discuss with him. If there's no respect, if I see these, uh, this shit keeps going on, it's not gonna last for very long, Tucker. You have my word. <laughs> While I was talking with Tucker, Alfie was having a discussion with Axel, and it looks like Axel didn't really take it too good. I don't know why, but um, uh, uh, no, 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 no. he's um, not good anymore. He's not good anymore. What? He couldn't uh, respect us in our town. Mm, just um, acting like a fucking prick. Anyways, um, um, started threatening me. And so, uh, well, there's not much we can do now, uh, I don't want us to uh, attack him, just, uh... So you don't want us to do well. anything? No, 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 we, we, uh, need to do something, but, um, the thing is, um, the Reapers, uh... We will kill each and every one of those fuckers if he sends them here. It's too bad he had to be a fucking chooch. He, uh, made radio contact with someone, I'm not sure who, I just caught him for a second. Alright, let's talk more later, but, um, for now, just, uh, seem like everything's normal. I don't like this, LB, uh, I don't like this at all, I wanna go get this fucking chooch and handle things right now. I really do. Mm. You can't go around threatening mm. you, Alfie. I don't accept something like that, Alfie. That's not the way we do things here, Alfie. Well, yeah, everything should be fine between me and, uh, Professor Thumb. Leave the jars out. Not trying to lose any man. I'm trying to get you to think we're not different. Well, more alike than I think. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, if we can get a jukebox running, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, it would be, eh? Yeah? I'd get customers coming. Coming from all around. <laughs> oh my god, I've been running for hours. I'm fucking exhausted. You don't have a spare bed around here, do you? Oh, like yeah, a uh, room yeah. I, can, uh, get, I can take it. Yes, yeah, sir. Nah. Put your hands up. Drop oh. that fucking gun right now. Drop it right now. We're gonna have a little talk. Uh -huh.